How's it going? Saturday morning in Nashville at NAMM. I'm here at the Shelly Guitars and Effects booth with Jim Gentry, who's going to talk to us about the new Pony Boy Overdrive. Yes, sir. How's it going? Very well. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. So, what do we got here? This is a really great pedal. It's really versatile. It's a little bit of a strange beast, too. Um, I think I'm going to start setting it up for clean. The gain, the gain knob is really unusual. When you're down low or when you're really up high, there's a lot of bottom and a lot of highs. Okay. When you're around 12 o'clock, somewhere in that ain't, in that range, there's a lot of mid-range. So if you're gonna play clean, uh, I put a little compressor in front of it. Okay. Add a little highs, and it's really great. Just gives it a little bit of an edge, a little punch. It's really great for kicking through solos, just a little bit of a clean boost. What I really like about this thing, though, is the magic that happens when you put it before a distortion pedal or if you, in front of your favorite distorted amp. It's really nice. So I'm turning the compressor off. Okay. I'm going to show you what it sounds like. And I'm going to talk about the middle switch here in a second. I'm going to show you what it sounds like. It's also kind of a Larry Carlton sort of thing, yeah, too, which sure. is kind of nice. All right, so here's a distortion without this, and I've, I've got a little boss distortion pedal, okay. but it works really well in front of your favorite whatever. <laughs> kind of scooped out. Might expect to get that out of some sort of a Fender amp or a clone or something like that. Then you add this thing in. It just gives it this really rich harmonic thing. Sustains forever. We can't really tell in, in this environment, but if you have it cranked up a little bit, it, it makes the feedback really nice and really controllable, so it's super fun to play solos over. It's, um, it's also really good. It makes it really touch sensitive, so... So you can just touch it with your fingers and it's really nice. Um, really quiet. The switch in the middle, <clears throat> there's a, a vintage and modern switch, and that's really just the different diodes. So Peter did something really cool. The original Pony Boy had modern diodes, um, and then he decided to try it with some vintage germanium diodes. And it's, okay. and it's a really great character, but they're both really cool. So the old Pony Boy pedal had a switch for mid-range or treble that basically the, um, the booster cut was either mid-range or treble. Right. But with this, it's really nice because you either get the vintage diodes or you get the modern diodes, and they, they each have a really cool character. But then probably the coolest thing about this new pedal is the bass control. Okay. And Peter and I kind of worked on this. He did all the work, and I did some testing and gave him some opinion. We, we tried a lot of different places in the circuit to put the bass control, and where it ended up being the coolest was after everything. Okay. So it's kind of like, <clears throat> it's kind of like a control on an EQ. There's a boost and a cut, the center frequency is around 120 hertz. It's really nice. One of the things about Pony Boy, especially in, in any of these kind of clones, is when you're when you're in the 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock range, it's very mid-rangey and it scoops a lot of the bottom out. So you can add the bottom back in with this, and it's so nice. Um, let me see. I'm gonna max it out. It's nobody would ever do it this much. But. And then you can also, if you wish, you can cut it. All points in between. So, another kind of idiosyncrasy of these pedals, depending on what diode you're using and where your gain is, is the, the high frequency can get really harsh, and that's just inherent in the design of the pedal. But the cool thing about this is you can add a little bit of bottom end in it, and it just, it, it's fooling your ears. It sounds like that the highs have smoothed out, but it's because you just added some more lows to it. 
So it turns it into a significantly more versatile pedal. It's really cool. Um, I've been playing with it for about a week and a half. I, I own one of the older Pony Boys right. with the germanium diodes. Actually, Peter came and retrofitted that for me, and I use it practically on every solo. Killer. But this is even better because, as he and I talked several, Peter and I talked several times. Oh, I wish there was a little bit more bass, so I could just dial it in and sort of get that chunk of chunk of thing doing a solo. Now it's all now here. You got it. It's great stuff. He makes. He's a great guy. I've known him for a long time. Cool. Good stuff. Buy three. They're great. <laughs> Are these available right now, or are we looking at a couple months down the road? Available right now. Okay. And what are we looking at for price? 119. Say that again? 119. 119. Hey. Super reasonable. Beautiful. So you can buy three. Well, Jim, thank you so much for your time today. Thank this you. is Rich Osweiler for PremierGuitar.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We still got lots more coming your way. Jim, why don't you take us out? All right.